There is no way a kid will sit down with a stranger to discuss what challenges they are going through. The modern-day parent is a total stranger to their children. Once the maternity leave is over, the parent and the child are separated forever. She goes back to work, the child is entrusted with a maid who can't be trusted with the house. You lock your bedroom to protect your valuables but leave the baby with the maid. You come home in the evening very tired, no time to spend with the kid. At one and a half years, the kid is taken to baby care institutions. The kid is left there in the morning till evening when the parents are back. Over the weekend, you are either in the salon or chama. The cycle continues until the kid is in class 3 when they are whisked to boarding schools. Over the vacation you organize for tuition for the kids up to the last week. You only take them out for fun on the final weekend before they go back to school. That day we have no peace in social media. You splash photos all over with stupid tags hashtag mad fun. The cycle continues until the young one goes to high school. Then you expect the teachers to perform a miracle. By now, you are at the top of the corporate ladder. You worked so hard to get there. But your son or daughter is a thug. You will spend all the money you accumulated and the rest of your time in rehabilitation centers for those kids. Believe what you want but the family structure was not meant to be a democracy where you share everything 50 colon 50. It is the responsibility of the father to provide for the family. It is the responsibility of the mother to bring up the kids and keep the family together. That's not going to change just because everyone is educated. Let everyone do their job or we shall spend a lifetime solving problems we created. I want to bring to your attention that there is a lot of harmful learning taking place in school dorms. There is silent bullying that has made your son or daughter to remain plump of late. There is a lot of drugs the students are using in dorms. With all these sometimes one wonders if we should have boarding schools if they are agents of all this, anyway. Make him or her your good friend, check the types of tattoos she or he is having on different parts of his, her body. As a parent, you are responsible to the good future of your child. Do not just be harsh to them about their grades just because you want them to get the A-.